You're tuned in to Shea Butter Me Radio, where we keep it all natural. Tuning in to Shea Butter Me Radio. This is our first, my first show in 2018. And of course, it wasn't planned. I just decided that, um, I don't know, I was sitting here doing a little bit of research. And I have a topic I'd like to speak about. And it's called Are We Educating Our Children? about their African history because they sure are. Okay. And what I mean about that is, you know, during my research, I um, am in the process of studying um, ancient Kemet's gods and goddesses and reading their um ancient book of the dead and all of the scriptures and the timelines and the different things that um, is a compilation of many African cultures into this one grand civilization that ruled for thousands of years. Altogether, they had 29 dynasties. Um, That's probably over 50,000 years or more of ruling um, that part of Africa successfully. And so we have a lot of the um, gods and goddesses have their stories and incantations and everything that they left for us, um, for the world, humanity, um, in the hieroglyphs and everything. But we cannot... um, act like we don't understand the so-called awakened or conscious community, that we don't understand that this history is being taught on a massive level um, in the European um, nations. All nations of Europeans are taking these stories. I came across a video where it was... um, an opera that was being done, a children's opera, and um, it was in Canada, and they used the story that, because I was researching the the story of Isis and the Seven Scorpions, so I ran into the, um, I ran into the article that um, let me see that um, a number of other videos And um, it really, really was quite interesting because they chose this one story. I had never heard of it before I ran across it today in my research and my studying. And um, so I began to look to see, let's see what kind of videos they got out there about this particular story. And um, I ran into... um, Hold on a second. Let me pause this one second. 